Good day. I trust that you are well. You are with Heinrich and Simon A. Maastorp. Um, we are the pastors of Eagles Wings Global Foundation in Delft. Um, under the covering of Apostle Francois Engelbrecht. And it's such a privilege uh, this day for my wife and I to just share uh, what God has placed in our hearts. But first and foremost, we just want to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ mm -hmm. for giving us this opportunity just to come and serve and to trust the Lord that as you are listening uh, today that somebody's heart somewhere will be stirred for the gospel of Jesus Christ and that somebody somewhere will be ignited in the things of what God has purposed you uh, to, to, to put you on the road to your destiny and we're going to trust God that what he will speak through us that in all things that you will have clarity that you will have the knowing, that you will have insight and foresight of your destiny and your purpose. And may the, the fire of, of His love just come and burn in you. In the book of Acts, uh, 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 the disciples, the apostles of old, they came together, you know, into the ecclesia. They came into homes and, 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 and there was the way they fellowship, they broke the bread. They, 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 what Jesus taught them what to do and how to do it. And they came together and they never stopped. And I want to encourage everyone that you know that God is urging us. God is calling us in this time. It's a great opportunity. It's a great time that we are living in. It's a time like never before that, that there's an urgency even in the spiritual realm where God is calling us sons and daughters. You know, the scripture says in Romans 8, 14, um, those who are led by the Spirit of God is sons of yes. God. And the Bible also, it carries on in that scriptures where it says that the earth is waiting, you know, for the manifestation of the sons to reveal Jesus. So God is calling us, you know, He's not calling us into a physical place somewhere, but He's calling us together as a body, you know, to go out and be light, to go out and be salt. That is what Jesus is calling us. It's very urgent. God is calling us to go into the highways and byways. You know, we, we're pastoring a church in Delft, but currently we cannot open our buildings. But we have asked God for strategy, what we need to do. Because at this very moment, gatherings uh, to gather people is restricted. But you know, there's no restriction in, 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 in tending to the lost, in tending to the yeah. poor, in tending to the hungry. You know, the Bible says, Jesus says that, um, uh, uh, I was hungry and, I, and, and, and you didn't feed me. I was thirsty and you didn't come and give me a drink. I was in prison. He it, it, it makes all these uh, examples, you know, and, and, and what Jesus actually says, there's no excuse, you know, to go and to tend to the widow, to tend to the poor. To, to, and that is what my wife and I, and I believe many others in Cape Town have started to yeah. do. We, we have, we, we, our church is closed, but it does not stop us. To be the church yeah. in the dark world, in the, in the darkness. It, it doesn't stop us to go feed people because it's essential. People is hungry out there. I don't know, Simone, if you want to carry hungry, on. In, hungry spiritually as well. Hungry you know? spiritually as well. There's so many lost people out there. Um, and we can become so self-consumed when we get saved and we in a church and then we just focus on ourselves but we forget that we're supposed to go out and also um, be Jesus to the world. And so it's so important to, to love, right? And to be an, an example of Jesus. Jesus was the best example to us. Yes. And so um, why don't we follow him? It's not, we don't have a choice basically. The Lord, it, there's a great commission Amen. and uh, we're supposed to just do what the Lord did. And, uh, and so sometimes we, we make excuses and we get so consumed in our own lives that we forget that there's so many lost people out there. If you go outside, we were doing an outreach the other day and I told uh, my husband that this is, that was the route that I used to run in the mornings. Like, and I started last year and there would only be like two or three um, people that was looking for jobs. And the other day when we were there, 
The, the whole street was filled with men standing and waiting for a job opportunity. And you know, that really broke my heart because we're supposed to be hope. Jesus is hope. And we're not sharing the gospel. We're just keeping it to ourselves. And we are uh, feeding ourselves. And we are just looking after ourselves. But we forget that there's so many lost people out there who really need to hear yes. the good news of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God is calling us into intimacy with Him Amen. first. He calls us into intimacy with Him, with our family, with 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 with, with breaking bread with our with our brethren, with our brothers and our sisters. He calls us into that place of intimacy so that He can guide us, lead us by His Spirit. That's why I said in the beginning, I said in Romans 8, 14, those who are led by the Spirit, yeah. but the, the, the leading only comes from when we are led into intimacy with Christ, to spend time in the Word, in yeah. prayer, and actually to wait upon Him and to hear what He's got to say yeah. and to break bread with our family members. And, and the Bible says, my family is those who do the will of God. Yes. You see, there's a place where we need to come into intimacy, spend time, bask in His presence, receive from Him, being filled by the Holy. The Bible says that we need to be filled daily yeah. with the Holy yeah. Spirit. And when we are filled with the Holy Spirit, God will give us a burning, a uh, consuming fire to do. And then there comes a place where we, when we're going to go do. We're going to go do by what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. John 5 verse 19 says, I only say what my Father says. Uh, and, and I only do what my Father says to do. And we need to come into a place where we hear the voice. The, the Bible says in John 10 that my sheep knows my voice. So we need to come to a place where we are full with the voice of the Holy Spirit so that He can lead us. As my wife just said, um, that there is people that is waiting. And if, when we, you know, we are partnering, not even just our ministry, not even just us, but we are partnering with relational people, with people out there. And we have seen that, you know, partnering with, with, with people. Um, one, one of our, our partners is a Love Jesus Network. And we, we serve, even though we are pastors of a church, we serve under, under what they are also doing because the, we are serving for the same kingdom. Yes, we are amen. serving for the same God. team, as the same Jesus that we are serving for. And you know, we're taking hands because it's the same hearts. And, and we come and, 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 and we come together and we might we might do something, they might do something else, and, and, and this one might come. And you know, it, it's so amazing that people is ignited through social media today to see what we are doing. And it's not a story of see what the left hand is doing and don't do, uh, tell the left hand what the right hand is. No, there is no time for these types of things it's now. Pure, pure they, you know, it's pure. Yes, there is people that wants to be seen. Yes, there is people that, that it still does not get it. They, they, they treat it as an event. Yeah. And this is not an event. This is, this is a lifestyle. It's a permanency yes. that we need to practice from the throne room. We need to practice it from our place of intimate, being intimate with the Lord, knowing that we are nameless, faceless, brandless, uh, blameless before the King of Kings because we are not doing this to receive money. Yes. We are not doing this to receive Power, the only power we receive, the Bible, Peter said uh, at the gates, at the beautiful gates, he said to the, to the man that was limping and that was uh, uh, paralyzed, he said to the man, uh, gold and silver I do not have, but what I give you, I give you in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and you know, the power of the Holy Spirit comes from on high. It comes from, from Jesus to enable us, the dunamis power, to go out and be a witness. God is calling us again to come and just be pure witnesses. And, and when we share these things on, 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 on social media, it is not to glorify us. It's to glorify the King of Kings. But it's to ignite people in the body. It's to wake up. It's to, to tell people, come, do something in your backyard. Do something in your community. Do something. You don't have to join us. But yes. you can start yes. with what God, what do you have in your hand? Yes. You know, what do you have? What do you have? Yeah, Amen. I think that when you're in your workplace, there's people. When you go to church, there's people. When you go into the streets, when you go into the shopping malls or at the restaurant, there's people. But 
are you focusing on yourself or is your focus to to be a blessing unto other people you know this like i said there's so many people that that just needs encouragement even if you just say jesus loves you yes. it makes such a big impact in people's lives you know yes. i've seen how people uh, are just when you speak to them and you just m- make them feel special and important just that one or two minutes that you stop and you ask them how are you doing and do you know that jesus loves you that few seconds of you, you encountering them and they encountering Jesus inside of you makes such a big impact in yes. their lives you know sometimes people receive Jesus on the spot sometimes people open their hearts and actually say can you pray for me you know i've had people stop me and say you know i see you every morning you run past me there's so much joy in your life what is it that you have please i want share share what you have share your secret with me and i can just say Jesus 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 is the one who gives joy uh Jesus is the one who changes my life he's the one who's continually working inside of me and what a honor it is to share that love of Jesus to his people you know it's so important it's so important I want to say um you don't need to present a fixed life to Jesus maybe you feel that man of god I am not ready Woman of God, I am not ready to do this because of I still need to fix mm. this in my life. Jesus is not looking for a fixed life. He's looking for a avail- available, yeah. willing uh, a, a vessel yeah. where he can... F- imagine you, maybe you're struggling with sickness. Maybe you're struggling with something. I don't know. Maybe you have financial yeah. problems. But the moment, think about it like this. The moment you say to Jesus, Jesus, here I am, use me. Mm. It means Jesus come and empty me out. Holy yeah. Spirit, empty me out. Yeah. Guess what God is going to do? He's going to come and fill himself. He's gonna, maybe it's healing. Maybe it's something that you need. I don't know what it is. But I know when the Spirit comes upon you, it's the Spirit without measure. Which means that the Spirit of measure carries love. It carries joy. It carries righteousness. It carries healing. It carries power. It carries breakthrough. It carries... I don't know what it is yeah. that you need. But I know that my God that I'm serving, Amen. that when He comes and He falls Himself in your life, and you go and you, and, and you, and you actually go out, uh, uh, and, 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 and you want to be a blessing... Yes. Uh, a, a healing blessing yes. or a <coughs> excuse me an encouragement mm-hmm. or just telling somebody listen man uh here's hope mm-hmm. here is bread here is love mm-hmm. here is joy just have immediately god comes and works in your life i always say that when you go on an outreach god comes and he reaches yeah. in your heart he comes and he reaches yes. in while we are doing the outreach he comes and he works in our background. He comes and works in our hearts. He knows what we need. He's just looking to e. Are you available? Are you willing? You know, even in these times where God is challenging us, He's testing us. He's testing our faith. Yeah. Maybe we are sitting somewhere and he's saying, "Oh, we just need a breakthrough in finances. We just need a breakthrough in." In our ministry, this is the opportunity to actually step out. And God is not asking you, listen, God is not asking you much. He's asking you to have a faith like a mustard seed. And and if you go look how small a mustard is only asking for that, to just step out and say, yes, Lord, I am willing. Yes, Lord, I am going. Yes, Lord, uh, uh, I will will learn as I go. And that is what God is calling us. This is the great commission. And he has not given it only to apostles. Yes. He has not given only to prophets or to mm. any fivefold mm. minister. But he has given it to those who believe. The Bible says that those who believe, these signs shall follow them. And, 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 and you know that signs can be maybe for your family to be healed. Maybe for deliverance to take place. Maybe it is for something that needs to take break in. So, so you know God needs to come and break in to break through you. You know, and, and, and that is what it is. God is calling us. Mm-hmm. And you know, we ordinary people, we don't have it all together. As my wife just said that when we started out, we had completely nothing. We, but we had the faith. Yes. We had the, we, we, we had the 
passion. Yeah. We had the passion. And how did we get the passion? It was because we 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 we, we kneel before the cross. Yeah. We we ignore, you, you see, we knew nothing. We we didn't know anything. We didn't know how to do ministry. We didn't know how to pastor a church. We didn't know how many disappointments, how many rejections, how many things was gonna come our way, tribulations, trials was gonna come our way. But what thing we did was we kneel before the cross. We remain before the cross. Sure. We we remain before yeah. Jesus. Yeah. We remained in Him, and we and we and we laid ourselves Amen. down, saying, "Jesus, we cannot do it on our own. We need Your Spirit. We need Your substance. We need Your Word. We need Your anointing. Mm -hmm. We need You every single Amen. day." And I can tell you, after almost seven years of uh, 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 being sent out. To do my work, we do not only serve the local community, but we're serving even our own community. We're serving nationally. God has also permitted us to serve in the nations. That is our heart. That is our heartbeat that God has placed. Psalm 2 verse 8 is our heartbeat to go to the nations and to declare Isaiah 61. To go and, and even Matthew 28 verse 19, to go and, and disciple them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To teach them and to observe all things, to make disciples in all nations. And God is truly because we could work in our backyard and we could be faithful in our backyard. God has opened the door to many nations. And, 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 and it's, not a, it's not a trophy to say we are called to the nations. It starts with us. It starts with our relationship. It starts with humility. It starts with being content. It starts with starting somewhere. And that is what God, this is what this video is all about. It's about getting you to say, but if God can do it for Heinrich and Simone, God can do it for me. And, 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 and I can tell you, I can tell you, we, uh, even though my, my, even though I come out of, we come out of homes, we, our parents are Christians yes. and, and ministers of the gospel. Mm -hmm. I can tell you one thing, I didn't get saved there. I can tell you one thing that I had a rough patch of life. I came out of the darkest of darkest roads. And this is not a place to share my testimony now, but that I will do on another occasion. But I didn't just, I didn't come. I didn't come in and just, I was born to be a pastor. You know, I was born to be a leader. It, you know, uh, mm -hmm. it takes, it takes you yeah. to be submissive. Yeah. It takes you to be submissive to the spirit and to those who God has, has, has placed before you. To those who God has given you to teach you, to learn from them, to learn from, you know, to learn from them. God puts people in our lives and across and, and to mentor and to give and, and to learn, but it's not always to, 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 to hang and cling on them. But there comes a time where God calls you to also step out. Yes. Step out and to believe yeah. Him for His Holy Spirit. And that is how you would see that you are truly mature and Amen. still maturing yeah. into the ways of God. Amen. Yeah. Uh, every day is a choice. Yeah. We have a choice. Um, are we going to be victorious today? Or are we going to be defeated? Um, I think a lot of things happen in our mind. Uh, we have a lot of thoughts daily that challenges us. But you know this, the Lord gives us tools in the Bible how to conquer and, and how to defeat the enemy. And so I, I believe that um, sometimes we feel unworthy or sometimes we feel we cannot speak to people because we ourselves, there's so many things that we still yes. have to have work on in yes, our yes. lives. But all of us, we're still in, a pro in progress. We, we're still in a process with the Lord. Yeah. And so... None of us, us have it all together. We're still learning. And so, but it's a choice. It's a choice at the end of the day. Am I going to approach this person? Yeah. Am I going to speak to this person? Or I can just ignore the, the voice of the Holy yes. Spirit and go on with my life, you know? You know, when your heart starts beating fast <clears throat> and you're feeling warm, your palms yes. get sweaty, then you know it's the Holy Spirit speaking to you. Um, but sometimes we just ignore what He says. I want to encourage you today. Before we are going to end and pray for you, we're going to pray that the ignition yeah. of the Holy Spirit will come upon you and that you will receive this ignition to step out. You know, I want to encourage you, you will see a, a number or an email on the screen that will come on. You can reach out mm -hmm. to that number or to that email address and become part, become part. 
Maybe that is the first step. Maybe you don't have anyone and you don't know how. Maybe you just need to be equipped for your area. Maybe you just need to be empowered for yeah. your area to start that work. I want you to encourage you to, to connect with, with the details that has been given on the screen. And I want you to connect so that you can step out in faith. You know, uh, uh, and you can even contact and say, I'm stepping out in faith. I'm stepping out in faith. And you need to declare it to yourself. Yes. Even as you are sitting yes. there, even as you are listening yes. there, declare it to yourself. I am stepping Amen. out in faith Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. You need to say it to yourself. You need to start declaring it over your life. You need to start to believe the promise that God has for you. The promise that God has for you. The purpose and the destiny. I believe that God is a great plan for your life. But you're not going to find it out if you're not going to step out. And, 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 and I want to encourage you. We want to encourage you. We want to build your faith. We want to we want to really get you to that place where you will be so on fire that you will come that you will uh, ignite a whole community. You know you don't need hundred people. You only need yourself by the Spirit of God and God and and, and then God is going to bring that one and that two across in your path because they're going to see what you are doing. It's not going to be easy in the beginning. It's not going to be easy. But you need to pay, persevere. You need to persevere. You need to believe, stay in touch, stay in prayer, stay in touch with people that you can pray with. Yeah. It's always a good place to start. Yeah. Uh, remain in the word of God. Very important. Yeah. Be in the word of God and, 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 and find yourself accountable to somebody. Somebody that can that can stand with you. Somebody that can be there. You know, even in these times, you know, just starting up a soup, a, a pot of soup or, or, or bread. That's what yeah. my wife and I did. We just started alone and we said look we need to do something in this lockdown and and we started to get some bread we started to buy some bread we started to get some chicken or bologna whatever and we started to do it and just we we hit it out just above us we hit it out and we and, and we went to the homeless preached the gospel five minutes and we ten minutes we preached the gospel and we blessed the people we prayed for the sick we prayed for everything and and we gave them something to eat and so God started to uh, uh, build our faith once again, build our faith to do this again, ignite others. And that is how other people started to come and we started to connect with others that was doing it. So I want to encourage you today. I want to bless you today with these words. And as we're just going to pray now for people, I want to pray and I want you to stretch out your hands by faith with us. Stretch your hands out by faith. And I'm going to ask my wife just to pray for you to, 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 to receive an ignition to step out into what God has called us to. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, yes. Holy Spirit. Thank you for this time, Father yes, God. Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege, yes, Father Jesus. God. To, to just speak about you, yes, Father Lord. God. To, to just speak about testimonies, Father yes, God. And, and how good you have been to us, Father God. Father, we bless your name, Almighty yes, God. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege, Father God, yes, to even just breathe right now, yes, Father Jesus. God. We thank you, Father God, for your Holy yes. Ghost that you have given us, yes. Father God, so that we can hear, Father God, what you are saying, Father yes, God. Jesus. We can move, Father God, as your hand Hallelujah. moves and directs us, Father God. Yes, and right now, Father God, we pray for, the, for your people, Father God. Yes, God. Father God, that as they are sitting, Father God, and listening and watching yes, this, Father God, Lord, I pray, Father God, that you will touch them in the name Jesus. of Jesus, Lord. I pray that there will be such a deep hunger, Father God, to walk with you, Father God, to, to walk a surrendered yes. life to you, Father God, and with you, Father God. Father God, it starts with us, Father, surrendering ourselves, Father yes, God, Lord. before you, Father God, laying down who we think we yes. are, Father God, laying ourselves down before you, yes, Father Jesus. God, opening our hearts, Father yes, God, Lord. so that you can come and work inside yes, of Jesus. us, Father God, and also give us that boldness father yes, god lord. to move father when you Jesus say move name. father god to Jesus. hear father god and be obedient to when you speak yes. father god yes. and so father god i just thank yes, you lord. father god for what you are going to yes, do lord. father god for yes. what you are busy doing father god and what is yet to come father yes. i pray that you will ignite them right now in the name of jesus, jesus father god may the fire burn father god and father god may they not be contained father god may it just over 
flow, yes, Father God, Lord. and reach, Father God, where it's supposed to go, Father. Yes, and may, Father, may they, they, they influence, Father God, so many other people through your blood, Father God, yes, through your Lord. fire, Father, through your hand, Father God. May, Father, this be a continuous fire, Father God, yes, Jesus. consuming us, Father God, consuming your yes, people, Lord. Father, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, we thank you for your mighty hand, Father Hallelujah. God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And Jesus. I, Amen. I just want to say, if you're there, I just felt in my spirit right now as my wife was praying, and you're feeling now, but man of God, I need to, I need to just come closer to the Lord. Please just, just, just where you are, in that same spirit, in that same atmosphere, just say with me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you as a son, I come to you, Father, and I know and acknowledge I've been a sinner, but I know that I'm a son of you, Lord. Father, forgive me. Yes, say it. Forgive me, Lord, for what I have done. Forgive me of my yesterdays. Forgive me of my todays. But today, Lord, I make a decision, Father. I make a decision where I became lukewarm. I make a decision, Father, where I became backslidden, Father. Father, I, I, I come today before you and I ask you, Jesus, come into my heart, Lord. Come into my life, Jesus. Yes, Father, come, Lord, and save me, Father, from this sinful nature, God. Father, I believe, say it with me, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. I believe today that I am born again and I am saved in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you for the blood, Jesus, over this people. Thank you for the blood that is cleansing them. Thank you for the blood that is washing them. And I thank you for this sonship today in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen welcome welcome to the body of christ and welcome into your father's amen. house thank you for listening please uh invite your family to listen in and stay blessed remain blessed and remember connect and step out in jesus name amen